Ooh, she's gone tacky. Look at them boots. All right. I've got a couple things I've got to do today and we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, first and foremost, I invested like another $100 into two more lights. And once this hard top is on the Jeep, which we'll be doing that in the next few weeks, with the hoist saving my back, we'll be getting that on and um, I'll have more light. We're getting into winter mode. I did my last cut, lawnmower gets parked pretty much. I still use it. But um, the truck, I need to jump right into a couple of big tasks. And here's the problem. I'll sit here and put it off over and over and over. And then I start watching Puddin's Fab Shop and he starts doing a Toyota body swap just like this, getting a quarter million views per video. And I'm like, ah, oh, I, could, I could be getting that right here. So I gotta put my foot to the floor and get this thing done. And uh, I need a seat, bad. I tried finding one at a pull apart. Mission did not succeed, it failed. <coughs> My lungs and chest are full of poop, I guess. Um, I gotta figure this out. So on this seat, these are getting thrown in the trash. I th tried selling them on the old marketplace for $40 for all of them. I had people asking for one. How much for one? $40 and they come with three others. Well, I just need one. Well, I just need $40 for all of them. So delete, it's not worth it. I'm gonna go throw them in the trash. I gotta figure out how to do that. So it sucks because there's good material here. I, I just don't want people coming by finagling me for this. So we'll see what happens with that. So I need to make a panel for this. Yes, I can buy one online. I'm saving every nickel and dollar I can because I just bought three cars out back. I need to sell two fairly quickly. The Ranger and the Bronco, I got the Ranger running and uh, I've moved a trailer or two with it. It'll bark second gear. It's a good running little truck. Key cylinder is not working that well. So I just pulled it out and throw a wrench in there. Good to go. But uh, has a title. I may offer it to a friend of ours and then, yeah, I'll go from there. But let's get those moving. I got to do a wheel it run on the Bronco. I've started filming on it. It's not going good. I've got it soaking and those files are standing by. So you'll see that one day. Uh, but this truck needs to get moving. I need lights on this truck. I had a temporary harness back here. I don't like any of it. For some reason, <clears throat> wake up here i cannot figure out these tail lights i saved every harness off of that crown vic and i even saved the tail lights i did all the pigtails it's all over here and i guess when i threw away my trunk i accidentally threw away a tiny little harness that connects in between and that harness is very valuable. And it might, it might have fell on the floor and I just hadn't found it. So problem is, besides this hard top blocking my lot, I've got to clean all this up and figure out my lights. So I need hitch lights and I need running lights and stop lights, blinkers. It's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things, but when you think about, hey, getting pulled over, that's a problem and I don't want to deal with it getting pulled over. Hey, I was a cop. Oh, so you know you shouldn't be driving with no tail lights and all that. Yep, here's your bigger ticket. That's how that works. You don't get out of tickets. So let me jump on this. And then I've also got to stuff some microfiber towels under these straps so this gas tank don't rub through the straps and fall on the highway while I'm driving because I got to build, I don't know if I'm doing a fuel cell from keeping this tank. I like, I like the tank, but you know, we've talked about that. So I need to do that. I got to wrap up all these wires. That's not happening today. Wire looms higher than a draft. You can imagine some other words to put in that phrase. And here I need to get some 
some seedage. Yeah, I said seedage. Believe it or not, that block of wood puts my bottom at the perfect height. I can see perfect in the truck. I'm way back. So I need to build a seat. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build it straight to the floor. And then I'm just going to have to uh, call on my mom for some help. And myself. And upholster this seat. We're going to be going to Angie's. Or no, Angie's. Joann's. So I like Joann's. They got some good fabric and stuff. But um, we'll do something right here. I know, I know, I cut that grill. Um, that was my whistling diesel for the day. That grill's garbage, y'all. It's beat, it's somebody's finger painted it for real. It's been, a, it's been an eyesore. I know it matches the truck, but I have plans for this front end that are a big surprise, and uh, I don't think it's ever been done. So, nothing tacky. So, something period correct, but this is my test bed. I need lights on here, just period, and if I can start fabricating what I want to do on here, then we'll rock and roll with that. All right, I'm going to take these plugs out. This is my three prong. And keep this pigtail. This is my actual headlight harness. It's six prong. It's one on each side. And uh, they do have five prongs to them. I don't know why. There's five going into three. It does not make sense to me. Well, I'm listening to the Unashamed podcast like I do every day, pretty much. And uh, that's just how I like to start my day. Work on the way and I listen to it. Yeah, I listen to it now. But on other news, I saved my headlight harnesses from, I think this was a painless kit. I, no, it may have been painless. I can't remember. I got it off of LMC truck. But, uh, Got this, so I've got my plugs. We got our ground, two hots, and I'm gonna jump right into this Crown Vic ground and two hots. First and foremost, I need to figure out what is my low beam power supply. And I think that's gonna be, let's just take a guess. I'm thinking it's gonna be this darker green with a black. You ever get a song stuck in your head and you don't know why it's there? It's the sound of silence and I'm just stuck on this lyric. In the naked light I see. In the naked light I see. Yep, that's been in my head all morning. This wire is so thin, I'm shocked. 10,000 people, maybe more. I don't know why I'm singing that song. I'm just trying to get the factory headlights to come on and after about 40 minutes of wrestling this wiring, I figure I have a blown fuse and uh, I've been fighting to figure out why. Probably all the wires I cut, just being honest. Who put these in here? Some handsome fella. And uh, I got a bit of weld sticking over. So I'm gonna have to pull out a tap. It never fails. Hmm. Man. 
is why it takes years to redo a vehicle, especially when you're doing it as ghetto as I am. Oh, tap box. My neighbor Jack lets me use this tap box and it's fantastic. I think it's a 20. I just gotta chase that little weld off. I'm not trying to restore Barrett Jackson vehicle. I'm not trying to restore this truck like every other truck. You know, if I were, I'd start out with a better candidate. It took a minute, but I got these things in. I hope y'all don't mind that center grill's cut out. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna be putting something there. That place your bets now. So that looks pretty good. I like it. And what I'm putting there is gonna pay tribute to me. Um, Cause I'm a legend. No, just, that's just something I wanna do. Kind of a throwback. Let me pause this podcast for a minute. We're talking about Hebrews and all kinds of good stuff. And I say we're, I'm not on the podcast, just listening. Uh, I want to talk about this real quick. I got to get some wire loom to finish this, but this is, and I need a new connector, it broke. This is a really good way to save yourself some headache if your connector has broke. So this is a headlight harness and it's on a, a truck that's going to shake, rattle and roll. So you take a zip tie, two of them, make, you know, loop one around this case in here. And I am using this clip sleeve here, like a collar. I run the next one through the actual sleeve where the original pin went. And we have just created another pin. So it's just a good way to save yourself a little headache. And then uh, always turn your zip ties down so you don't get cut if you don't have flush cut pliers. But I left this on here because I'd like to drill a hole right in here. And that's probably never going to happen, but I'm saying I'd like to keep that on there. And then I need to put on some wire loom. And we have ourselves a factory plug to a Crown Vic harness. So whenever I do figure out why this thing's not giving power, something in the fuse box. I think the fuse is blown and I was testing them all. I got three that aren't powering. But I may have a wire grounding, grounding out somewhere. I, I cut a lot on this car, y'all. Anyways, we'll work on this. And uh, we're making good progress. I'm going to finish up over here. I'm going to run some loom on that before I start getting it all put together. And then uh, we'll talk about the progress we're making. We've got all the front blinkers hooked up. They are working correctly. So I'm going to take this pigtail right here run it down this is going to be my blinker i'm going to try to utilize the factory blinker down here we'll, we'll see there's a lot going on here Ooh. i'm going to measure these hitches this is my brother's ranger our grandpa's old truck i just wanted a, kind of an idea of how it compares to a normal little pickup truck because I'm gonna consider this a little pickup truck until I throw a car behind it and some airbags on the axle and maybe a different gear in the axle. Okay, it's actually an inch taller than that 2010 Ranger. So we got six, no, we got 17 inches on the top of the ball. So we got two inches in height and that does not include if i flip the hitch that's not bad so if i flip the hitch that's gonna get us up here and we'll have that much more if i need to which i think i'll go ahead and do that 
Uh, I can't get that thing off right now. It's, I gotta soak her down. This is before the clear coat. I've washed the truck with Dawn, hit it with red scotch bright, the whole truck, and then all of my exposed edges of old body filler, I have went through and used a blowtorch and blown them in. And now you're looking at the finished product. This is two coats of the Vice Grip Garage, two part catalyst clear coat. First coat was very, very, very thin and it covered fine, but it absorbed pretty quickly. This is a fast reacting catalyst. So it's tacking off before you can get a foot from it. The second coat laid in nice and wet, but it doesn't hold a wet edge necessarily but I would highly recommend it. And it was about 70 degrees. I did this inside the garage, not in the sun. I let it sit for a while and then took it out into the sun to let it sit again. If you look at the roof, I've got about a quart left. I'll be doing a third and fourth coat on the roof and potentially the hood. We'll see.